Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to set up a Cisco ASA in an active standby failover configuration. And what this does is it gives your network more redundancy in the event that one of your firewalls goes down and you can still pass traffic through your secondary firewall. Now in my lab today I have two switches here. Um, one goes out to an ISP, which is just a, you know, a router with a loopback address um, uh, that's always in, that's in an up position that we can test going to. And then we have um, primary firewall here at the top, secondary firewall here at the bottom, and just a local PC with an IP address. Now, basically, this isn't to say that this uh, configuration is best practice. This is just a way to allow you to test how this particular setup um, works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to not configure this first part here. Basically what this is doing is configuring the outside and the inside IP address. Um, what we can do is do that last to show you how that replication happens on the secondary firewall. So what I'm going to do is go into my primary firewall, which is going to be the ASA1 here in my lab at the top, which I already have here. And I'm going to go ahead and configure the failover, um, primary failover configuration. So I'm going to go into config T. And I'm not, now I have this failover at the top. So what I'm going to do is um, not turn it on until we have our failover configured because on the secondary firewall, you'll run into some problems to where the configuration will start to replicate. And if you still have some changes that will be made, it will break the replication because you made changes on that secondary firewall. So I'm going to go in and, like I said, set this up. Skip that first one. I'll actually update the blog to put it at the end. So we're going to call the failover LAN unit primary. And then our failover link is going to be gigabit 0 slash 6. So the failover link is this link between the eight, both the ASAs, which I have here, and the gigabit 5 will be our state link, which carries over the connections, like the users, sessions, things like that. So failover, LAN, unit, and then you can name this whatever you want. Um, failover LAN interface like so, so you can name this whatever you want um, I just call it failover link because that's what it is and it's going to be using gigabit 0 slash 6 and then we're going to assign an IP address to that so failover interface IP the name of the failover link and then the IP address for that failover link and then the standby um, address for that so this is for the other side. Got that set up. So then we want to also make sure that that interface is not down either. So just do a no shut. Okay, so we got that set up. And we also know that gigabit 0 slash 5 needs to be up as well. So we'll just do a no shut on that. So now let's go ahead and configure failover link stateful. Oh, and then so this can be um, any name as well, but it's the state link. So we'll just call it stateful in my uh, case here. Zero slash five. And then we scroll up here, the IP address for that interface. Failover interface IP stateful. 192.168.9.1 Standby is going to be 192.168.9.2 Now, and then, so and before I turn that on, let's also, I uh, got a little bit out of replace here. We'll add a pre-shared key to this. So this basically is a preferred method from Cisco just to make sure that your um, uh Failover links um, traffic is secure. So failover IPsec pre share key Cisco. Now you do want to use a more secure password, but that's just a just a showing of how that's set up there. And then now we're going to enable it. So if I do a show failover, you'll see that it's still turned off. So I'm gonna do show or just just failover. So now if I do a show failover. 
we can see that it's turned on now and it's the primary interface for this configuration here and let's go in and now do our standby unit so if we go to ASA 2 which is the bottom ASA here which will be our secondary we're not going to turn failover on here at the top first we're going to just configure everything to come back around and uh, then turn the failover on so that way it can start to replicate the changes without us um, breaking that um, configuration so we're just going to call this go into configuration mode just going to call this failover LAN unit secondary LAN interface call it the failover and then gigabit zero slash six as well so this is just going to be the same configuration you basically did on the other um, firewall name it the same stateful gigabit zero slash five give it the IP addresses 192.168.10.1255 and then our standby unit and then the last but not least our state Two five five two five five dot zero and standby one nine two dot one six eight dot nine dot two. Then let's add our pre shared key here. Call that Cisco. Now that we have all that set up, now we want to go ahead and turn on failover. So if we see so failover, it's not turned on. It's a secondary. Oh, and then we, we oh so we want to turn um make sure our interfaces aren't down so interface gigabit zero slash five so no shut on that and then zero slash six no shut on that as well and then basically we can do failover So now you see it's detected in active mate. It's beginning the configuration replication. You can see here it's sending the replication. And it shouldn't be much because there's not really much to replicate, but we'll give that a second. To finish. And now with this uh, with this setup like this, you basically now have to um, have all of your uh, configuration done on the uh, main firewall here. So it says configuration replication failure. So let's see what that's all about. So if I come in here, let's just do a show failover. Other host secondary failed. So I'm not sure why that would be showing fail. Let's just do show IP address. So FO link. And show IP oh uh, you know what i think i know why so if we look show run um let's begin failover this is oh no okay so i named that fail fo link so that's correct that's correct that all looks to be good. Let's see what's going on here. So let's do a failover. Let's 
So let's let's try to reset. So failover reset. So none of these are down, so I'm not sure why the configuration is not um, completing. One thing we could try and do is let's just, well, let's do this. Copy, run, start. Um, let's, let's, let's reload. Let's reload this this uh, secondary firewall. Now, typically, you shouldn't have to change anything on these. Uh, you know, as far as uh, rebooting and anything like that. Only thing I could think is maybe something with the um, firewall being its. Uh, just a virtual unlicensed image, something weird is going on. But once this comes up, we'll, we'll double check to see if it recognizes that it's um, in the state. So let's show failover. So this is primary. Okay, this is coming back up pretty quick. So it's detected the active mate, bringing the beginning of configuration replication. It's ending the replication. So let's look at C. Show failover. Oh, okay. So, huh, that's weird. So you got a standby ready there. And then let's do show failover. Okay, now it's okay. So now it's up. Maybe they're just a little reboot there might have gotten it all fixed up. So now that's pretty much it. There's some little quick tips on how to maybe um, uh, show failover, which we've been doing. You can set the failover active on a standby host, and that will take over the active role if you needed to do like any type of. Uh, troubleshooting or work on a particular device you want to issue that command um, there are some other additional settings but i'll do another video on that particularly on how to maybe plant do planned upgrades things of that nature but um, we'll do some testing also to kind of show how the failover works in the in the event that you need to uh um, one of your asas does die so but you don't want to keep this video short just on the configuration side uh, if you have any questions on any of the steps that were presented in the video, leave it in the comments. Um, like and subscribe if you can to the channel. I'll be doing videos on various different cloud networking, automation, um, things like that. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.